today um, as acting father of the bride, and it was no joke getting here today to do this. Sorry, I had to chuck it. Um, and I'm supposed to wave at the people at the back table to make sure they're listening. Oh, they are. Okay, I've given Effie away on behalf of my very old friend, Nana Daniels, who is the real father of the bride, but sadly has been unwell back in Ghana for many years and cannot be with us. I will relate to him the scale of love for the couple and approval for this marriage as evidenced by the huge number of you attended today. Marriage is a good thing, it's God's plan, um, it's God's design, so I'm grateful to be able to be blessed in such a way and I look forward to becoming a wife and trying to be what God says a wife should be really and to be a blessing to my job. I'm looking forward to the vows, looking forward to um, us getting married and the reception the whole day really. I therefore have known Effie since she was a little girl in the days when there was just her brother Echo, and, who unfortunately can't be with us today, and sister Adwa. Um, and I was later around outside the hospital with their father at the birth of Leo and Sally, whilst Grace was doing all the hard work up in the ward. <laughs> I still remember eating the lovely fufu meals cooked by Grace and listening. Yes, I know about fufu. <laughs> Since I became a Christian, I, I lived the life of a nun. And um, it felt like 500 years rather than 50, uh, uh, 20. Um, but um, over those many years, um, I was alone, you know. And I watched many of my friends and family marry and have wonderful, delicious children. And like most young people, young, young women, I hoped to get married. Um, but, you know, the years just kept going by. And life seemed to happen just as I was busy making my life plans, really. Then God brought me my lovely, hunky, chunky, Gorgeous job. I can say, I must say that um, my job has been such a blessing to my life. Um, he's really helped turn things around. Um, but despite all the romance and the soppy text messages and the gifts upon gifts upon gifts upon gifts upon gifts and the non alcoholic whining and dining. <laughs> I'm not disillusioned, I know my job isn't perfect, but neither of us are perfect, but my job is perfect for me. into my heart and into Effie's over these years and you know I'm hoping to continue to to love and to cherish and to give everything I can and let God give everything I can to Effie. Having pledged your faith in and your love to each other and on the pronouncement of the declaratory and contracting words and having sealed these solemn marital vows <laughs> by the giving and the receiving of rings I pronounce you husband and wife in the presence of God. Several witnesses, therefore, let all men take care in the sight of God that this covenant will ever remain sacred. Ladies and gentlemen, I present to you Mr. and Mrs. Glee. look so beautiful together. Am I right? Yes. Such a handsome couple. Yes. The hunky-chunky John. <laughs> and his slender, elegant Effie. 